What up, Misfits? Welcome to the Misfit Heroes Podcast. My name is Chris, and together we are going on a journey. Now, if you're new here, I've recently been taking a break from podcasting interviews to help podcaster newbies with learning how to start a podcast themselves. Today, I'm going to discuss how I get the high quality audio and video in my recordings. And I think you're going to be surprised because it doesn't require any fancy equipment. As a matter of fact, you may even have some of the equipment that you need laying around already. So, let's make some magic happen. Playing the Misfit Heroes podcast. In today's video, I'm going to be diving into the world of video podcasting platforms. Now, some of you have asked, hey, how do you get such high quality audio and video in your recordings? And before I exemplify this, I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you to watch my previous videos on microphone selection and headphone quality. I've conveniently linked them in the show notes down below, so be sure to check those out as well because they're going to help you out even further after you watch this episode. Specifically in this episode, I'm going to be comparing three popular video podcasting platforms, Zencaster, Riverside.fm, and StreamYard. Now, if you're a podcaster, you're considering starting your own podcast, this video is going to be for you. We're going to be looking at their features, ease of use, audio and video quality, pricing, and much more. Let's get started. Have you ever been on a video call like Zoom or Skype and the internet lags out and people's video pauses or the audio gets garbled or some other type of glitch like that happens? Well, these platforms eliminate that problem. The way they work is that the audio and video are recorded locally on your computer or device, and then after you're finished recording, it uploads the high-quality non-streamed recording back up to the internet. And this eliminates internet latency problems, and it makes for a studio-quality recording every single time. So let's dive a little deeper into these recording platforms and figure out which one is going to be best for you. First up, we have Zencaster. Zencaster is a reliable and feature-rich platform that has gained popularity amongst podcasters. It's actually the platform that I use for my recordings. It offers a seamless remote recording experience with high-quality audio. The user interface is clean and straightforward, making it easy for both hosts and guests to navigate. One standout feature of Zencaster is its automatic local audio recording. It ensures that even if there are internet connection issues, each participant's audio and video is recorded locally, resulting in excellent studio quality. Zencaster also provides a post-production feature that automatically processes and syncs each participant's audio tracks, saving you time and effort during editing. It supports multi-track recording, which allows you to individually edit each participant's audio for a professional-sounding podcast. Another noteworthy feature is Zencaster Soundboard, which enables you to add sound effects and intro and outro music to your episodes easily. This adds a touch of creativity and professionalism to your podcast. Plans start from free, and they allow you to record up to two hours per month before you must move on to a larger plan. Now, let's talk about Riverside.fm. Riverside is a robust podcasting platform known for its exceptional video quality, making it a great choice for podcasts to prioritize visual content or video interviews. Riverside.fm offers native video recording at high resolutions, which is fantastic if you want to create a video podcast or utilize video clips on your social media channels. One of the standout features of Riverside.fm is its built-in automatic local backup recording. Similar to Zencaster, it ensures that each participant's audio and video are recorded locally, guaranteeing high-quality content, even in the case of internet disruptions. Now, my favorite part about Riverside is their mobile app, which is where I think they stand out the most. None of the other services I've tested have a mobile app. They require a desktop computer. And not only that, but the app itself doesn't suck. It's actually well-engineered, and it makes it easy for non-tech-friendly guests. Riverside.fm's platform is also super user-friendly, with an intuitive interface and easy-to-use features like live editing, chapter markers, and video overlays. It's perfect for podcasters who want to enhance their episodes with engaging visuals. Lastly, let's talk about StreamYard. While primarily known for live streaming, StreamYard also offers podcasting capabilities, making it a versatile platform for content creators. StreamYard provides a live video recording option, allowing you to record your podcast episodes while simultaneously streaming them to platforms like YouTube, Facebook, or Twitch. It's a fantastic way to engage with your audience in real time. 
One of the key features of StreamYard is its guest management system. It enables you to easily invite and manage multiple guests on your podcast, making it ideal for interviews or panel discussions. StreamYard also offers various customization options, such as adding logos, overlays, and lower thirds to your podcast. These features help you create a visually appealing and branded podcast. Now, let's talk about pricing. Zencaster offers both free and paid plans, with the paid plans providing additional features such as post-production processing. It's important to note that the free plans on Zencaster either limit you to 720p video recordings or 1080p video with a Zencaster watermark on the finalized video. Riverside.fm and StreamYard, on the other hand, operate on subscription-based pricing models solely, with different tiers depending on your needs. In conclusion, each platform has its unique strengths. Zencaster excels in audio quality and ease of use. Riverside.fm shines with their mobile app, which makes it much easier for guests that may not have a computer handy. And StreamYard's best function, in my opinion, is how they handle having multiple guests in one recording. It actually handles that probably the best out of these three in my experience. So, which one of these video podcasting platforms do you think is best for you? Or, did you find one that I don't know about and you'd like me to talk about it? Let me know down in the comments below, and if this helped you at all, well be sure to upper cut that like button or drop that yeah. subscribe button and violently type on your device to leave a rating or review of the show on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. That's all I got for you this week, Misfits. Truly, I love you, and until next time, be kind, love one another, and be a hero.